Let's go over the special moves. We'll start with the classic, the screen, the iconic quintessential symbol. It's still one of her best combo starters. It stuns. They can't hear anything for a while. She's gonna get a free hit. You can kind of do it at mid range if you think they are. You caught them sleeping, not blocking. Like I said, it's great to hit confirm. It's With just, punish. Exactly. I just right. throw it out all the time. All the time. Then let's go over fireballs, which are always one of the most important kind of key things about her offense. She has high hairball, low hairball. Which is in the moves list. Yes, that's canonical. Hairball. <laughs> and then air hairball. New to this game is it's a straight, very quick fireball. It is not the downward arc it has previously done. You can do it really low to the ground and it's quick, and I think it's pretty effective. Look at that, I still got it. <laughs> Her EX versions have some interesting properties. So. Straight one, oops, the straight one will actually eat up fireballs. So if you use a bar meter or zoning more, you'll actually beat out their projectile. And the low ones are really neat. So she adds that little hair whip at the beginning, and up close, actually a hit that will pop them up. Teams in the corner, you can do cool stuff. Like, get a combo. Oh my gosh. There we go. Maybe I don't still have it. <laughs> I, I think it's good. Thank you. So it kind of, it's neat. It turns this pure zoning tool up close into an actual offensive tool. So two different ways you can use it. Exactly. Both equally cool. You can also use that with your mix-ups, which gets to the next tool, her cartwheel. The overhead, straight from MK9. If you exit, it has armor. It's really good up close. It's great as a wake-up attack. You can use it after a move like this. You can mix it up with her low, her sweep, and a really fun down three. Look at that. So like for me when I play against you, you really have to be paying attention because one of the moves has is a mid, the other is uh, an overhead. Exactly. They look different, but you have to yes. you can't just you can't be on autopilot. Right. And then lastly, she has the classic levitate. If she can float in the air, she can drop straight down. So like, for example, you're trying to zone. We can use standing low fireballs to go under your hairball. Not very effective in a low, low fireball when you're literally not touching the ground. Right. She can also cancel it and she can do fun cancels. Like for example, she can do the back two, the airborne, go into a flight. And if you EX it, it's actually significantly faster. And she has some true block strings that they won't be able to interrupt. Got it. Now let's talk about how this can play into her cameo. I have chosen, oops, set it to all. I have chosen Serena, who we got a little taste of in the last trailer, but now we're actually gonna show her moves. So her first attack is the blade. It's a very quick projectile. You can see the cooldown is pretty quick. Then she also has Kia's blades. She goes full demon, throws multiple, they come back, and that's it. This actually leads into combos, so you can do fun stuff. You can turn that into a full combo. That is fun. It is fun. And she can really get up in the air. Yes. In a lot yeah, of ways. In a I lot mean, of yeah. ways. She also has her demon up kick, which is a great wake up attack. It's invincible, it's really quick. You can also use it as an anti air. And then lastly, she has a fourth move. Every cameo has at least three, and mm. some might have more. So she's one of those. Jakata's, Jak Jakata's Curse. She puts this rune on the ground, and while the opponent is standing in it, let's set it to default. Liu Kang's meter is being drained. Pretty, pretty quick, yeah, you can pretty see. Fast. Yeah. Now, this is an ambush move, which means you can do it while Sindel's doing other actions. So, for example, while you have a combo going, you can summon her. Oh, there's a lot of setups there. Yeah, so you can imagine you can use that in the corner, mm -hmm. in the middle of your combo, have her coming out, 
drain your meter, stuff like that. She could give you nasty stuff like drain your meter so you can't break a combo in the middle of your combo. She's not gonna like breakers very much. She does not, which is, let's something, let's uh, maybe get into that a little bit more. So, let's go back to what we said earlier. Sindel has a couple of moves using the cameo system. So, you know, Sindel in the lore, she's the queen. She has this commanding presence. She has, you know, what the kids would say is Riz. Oh, they would say that. <laughs> Thank you. And, you know, she could use that to actually command her cameo and maybe more. So let's start with this buff move. Once you activate it, while it's active, cooldown it will be significantly faster for your cameo. So you can see normally, this move's already pretty quick. Once she has this active, it's even quicker, and Serena, she is recovering so fast her cooldown, she can basically do that, like, almost indefinitely. So you can turn what normally would be kind of a limited use move into something that you can just use almost like any other special move. Or some of the other ones, like Kia's Blade, to have a pretty long cooldown, mm -hmm. it's significantly faster when she has that active. Now she's giving herself up there. Correct. There is some, there, yeah. Correct. But once she gets going, her cameo mm -hmm. use is substantially better. There's also an EX version with a really interesting twist. When she EX it, <laughs> she's now commanding the opponent's cameo, and if the opponent tries to break, <laughs> they will be stunned and you get a reset instead. Crazy. So let's show that again. I have the move active. The opponent goes for a breaker. You can see Sonya actually is like, gets the little head and you know, mm -hmm. oh my God, I'm confused. And your breaker is not just disabled. Once you get that stun, they popped up and Sindel gets a full reset. Got it. No breakers allowed. Couple ways to, to avoid them, seems yes. like her. There's also another really interesting I'd like to show. So for this one, Sindel can take control of an opponent's cameo and stun them. So for example, I will call it out. And Sony is actually dizzy. Yep. If Sindel is in the middle of doing this move, where she points, while the cameo is out, mm -hmm. so you have to do it on a read, the cameo is stunned for this entire length of time and cannot be summoned. Okay. There's also an EX version. With this version, Sony will leave the screen and I gain control of her. And I actually get a free use of either of the cameo's moves of my choosing. So for example, I now have square wave. And, and that you, use of You can cameo, pick any of them. Correct. It's not just any the one they were doing. Moves. Right. Got it. I have control over it for a pretty good amount of time and it does not cost any kind of cooldown or anything. So you could actually do stuff like I could summon Sonya to start leg grab to go into a combo and then go into Serena's uh, demon like anti-air move to end the combo if I wanted. You could even use three cameo moves in one combo if you wanted to. People are gonna have some fun in training mode on this one. Yeah, it's it's really, really neat. And it's something that's gonna, you know, how effective and the way you use it's gonna change on what the opponent's cameo is. Got it. 